Okay, this morning we have great grandmother or Omi teaching Ari how to make German pancakes. It's a family favorite. And Ari loves to cook, so it's a two for one. <laughs> Don't you, Ari? <laughs> okay, you need milk. Milk. <laughs> oh, milk! <laughs> milk. And all the milk in there. We use the whole milk to make the cakes. The one thing, yeah. Omi doesn't do measuring. She kind of yeah. goes by the feel of it, so. So we're making a lot of pancakes, I see. No, really, that's not much milk, though. Well, that's good. Okay. Be. Now. Hey, Omi, you put this. It's at least two cups. What is two cups of pancakes? Okay. Put two eggs in there. Two eggs going in. More than two. Well, well, she said two, so. Okay. You get shells in there? See. Yeah. yeah, just put it on. Go. Good job. Did we wash the hands before, Yana? She just completely washed up before she got oh, okay. here. So. Okay. Now, all eggs going in there. All four of them. Steer. You need? Does she need an apron? No. There we go. Where did those eggs come from? Chickens. Oh. <laughs> Jonathan said chickens. <laughs> those are fresh farm eggs. Oh, Uffy said, Why is this? Come here, Mother. Come here. Sorry. Okay. All the eggs are matched up. All right. Put the flour in one cup at a time. Okay. And how many what cups? Do, do we see how thick it is? How She's going to show you because with, with the German yeah, pancakes, it, it kind of goes by texture. So, okay. no, one cup at a time and then mix it. Or, yeah. Got to mix it in good. Show, just like I just showed you how to whisk it. Okay. <laughs> cup. I'm going to say that it was roughly. Two, two and a half cups of milk in there, four eggs, and uh, now that's two cups of flour so that's far. That's half cups. Oh, half cups? Yeah. Okay, so that's a total of one cup. I do that. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of salt, which was just kind of dumped in the hand and sprinkled in. This is... Okay, now. What we call a German no no measuring recipe. It makes some of the best recipes doing that. Because you just go by the feel and the texture. Well, I'm tasting it. Tell me, baby. So My much. grandmother never, I don't ever remember seeing her with a measuring cup. No, she didn't. Everything was measured it. by hand, stirred, uh, and it just, when it got to the right texture, the right taste, and the right consistency, then it was ready. Let me see. It. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we have two cups of flour. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the fourth one, so two cups. Okay, yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. Because the German pancake just is a like, little bit more, okay? It With doesn't have a cup, just a little bit. Put about a half cup in there. Yeah, yeah go ahead. A German pancake doesn't have baking powder in it. It's more like a cross between a tortilla and a crepe. So it's, it's a little, yeah. it's about the thickness of a tortilla, maybe a little bit thicker, but it's wide. You make it like a crepe in the bowl. In the frying pan, rather. And that's how we check the consistency is on how it mm. comes off of the whisk. Okay, go ahead. Presses. Okay. <laughs> Careful, don't do it. 
looks kind of big for you. He comes first, right? Okay. We like that kid hat, you know, eating that hat, so. And it takes a lot of olive oil to make German pancakes. <laughs> yeah, it does. You. Okay. You can add apple to that if you want to. Yeah, that's just a little thick, but a little thick. Yeah. Good. Yeah, because normally it should spread out yeah. quick in the pan when you yeah. tilt it. It should run to the other side. Yeah, I could add an egg to it. Well, well it's still enough. It's, it runs good, you know. I don't know. Maybe the pan's just not hot enough. I'll make a bigger one. We're going to make it big for John and big and thick. Well, yeah, I should Yeah, be. that's usually what I do if it's too... and roll out. Uh, usually, I don't know. I know. Usually, you just put it in and just. Yeah, I know. Uh, this what I say. Impatient, impatient. Right, are impatient, no? We gotta make it nicer. We gotta make it nicer. All right, now let's go today. Wow, it's on. All right, going. Be patient. <laughs> so, how do you know when it's ready to flip? Well, when it's a little brown. Oh, it's got to be brown before you flip it. It's, you know. Johnson, you can put the plates on the table. And with the German pancakes, I'll show you when we get there. But they're different than regular pancakes because what you're going to do is we are making them into like a, a sweet. Some people eat them like a delicate, uh, uh, like a savory, but we're going to yeah, put... It's it you know. Hey, but at least it's big enough for John to eat. <laughs> 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 hey, that's a good one, that channel says. Yes. Okay, that is a good one. So we're going to put jam in it and then roll it and sprinkle it with powdered sugar. Oh, you just put... Hi, Princess. Let, let, let me get a plate and check it first. Hi, Princess. Hi, Princess. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you okay? Ooh, I'm sorry. See, this way. Well, yeah, but if she was flipping it, it... Oh, okay. Oh, Mommy, can I... We have to have butter, mac and cheese, have butter, have butter, and I... Mm-hmm. Ari. That's so what I was telling Ari. We'll put the sun over now. Yeah, just later. Just a little bit. Okay. I just ran around with Ariana. I am the king. Well, that's going to be hard to roll. <laughs> oh, this is really he, a little... he don't want it cold. He oh, powdered sugar on. Powdered sugar? Okay, Jonathan needs his flat, not rolled. Yeah. Powdered sugar. They're usually not quite this thick, but since Jonathan has eaten his differently, you know, okay. Jonathan's going to sprinkle some powdered uh, sugar. Okay, sift that on there. You know how to do it. I, I know how to do that. Well, then do it. I'm not five years old. Oh, uh, how that? And another thing we like to do with these pancake is soup. Pancake soup, exactly, Jonathan. And for three sometimes. We uh, take them. Mm -hmm. And the cooked ones, the leftover after we've eaten them. We usually don't eat them for breakfast, really. It's more something that we usually eat for, like, dinner. But, um... You can eat it breakfast. Yeah, you night. can eat it any time of day you want. Breakfast, really. lunch, or dinner. And what we do is with the leftovers, we put them in the refrigerator, and the next day we slice them and put them in bowls and then pour a broth over them. And yeah. they are awesomely good. You can add an apple to it, slice apple in it, slice apples and dip it in grease, or cut the apple up in little pieces. Yeah. Too. Okay. That's Ari's first one there. Okay, I think that's enough sugar there, Missy. Do that again, Ari. What did you just show me? Two thumbs up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. Yeah, I you know. Oh yeah, definitely. That looks more oh, like Mom. American pancake. Mommy, you want to use browner or what? Be careful with your pancake. Man, 
only actually added in a little extra milk. So, and she used canned milk because she was out of the other milk. And so that it can roll around the pan like that. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mom, I ain't a mess you saw you. This is the consistency that I like, though. They're, so it's thin enough, and you put your jam in there, and you just roll it up, and then you cut it. Hey, Dick. So it's the perfect texture. Like I'm like this thick. Yeah, I'll show you how we do it. So, I'm just spreading the jam out inside here. And then... You just roll it. Oops. Normally you roll it. Yeah, this one came pretty good there. You can take a picture. Okay. See, like that. And then, and then you sprinkle with powdered sugar. And that is how you eat a German pancake. And then you just take a bite of it like this. And it is oh so yummy and scrumptious.